I've been an amputee for 54 years, and I've worn everything uh, from what was uh, available from World War II to present. A lot of the issues came from socket technology, the, the, the shearing, the, the high load pressures, the dissemination of forces not being gradual. So I developed a, a, ur a urethane liner system uh, the, that you wear rather than a sock and that goes inside the prosthesis and acts as a shock absorber and a buffer between you and the rigid socket. This is a, what we call an inner socket. It goes inside the more rigid outer socket. It has corrugations throughout the whole inside of this. And those corrugations do two really dramatic things. One, they increase the surface area on the inside of this socket by 100%. Okay. So we've got a lot more area to bear weight, to transfer loads, to control the environment that we're dealing with and the liners that, that we're wearing. Secondarily, the linkage between the residual limb and this inner socket is increased by 400% over standard sockets. With these corrugations, the way this works is, is we utilize vacuum kind of as long as it'll work for us. And if we supersede its ability to continue with that linkage, that's when the corrugations inside of here now take over the job and create a rather significant increase in this linkage. So this goes a long way to control, hold the limb into place because we're actually mechanically linking up to it. We aren't just dependent on the hydraulic function of tissue fluids, but actually the mechanical structure in this, uh, this, this type of socket. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit here of how, how this socket works. Once you get your liner rolled on and all the air evacuated, and that's absolutely essential. This is a, a Royal Knit Super Sheet. It's more porous and it allows for these corrugations that are in this socket to get through the sock and get locked into the liner and do its job. Then this sock goes back on, like so. You leave just a little space at the top for your sleeve to seal. Step into your prosthesis and you should always be able to get right down to the bottom of your socket without any particular amount of weight bearing. If you have to stand to get down to the bottom, you're going to have problems with disc distal draw. So you can see how this all lays away from me now and uh, is really not connected to me. So now I have another sock over the outside of this inner socket and that's going to allow for the vacuum to go to the outside as well as the inside. And we just bring our sleeve up like so. Make sure all the wrinkles are out. Now the, 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 the thing that a lot of people have trouble with with sleeves is the fact that when you normally draw a vacuum by walking around, your knee's pretty straight. And with the knee straight and then drawing vacuum, you lock all of this material down straight. So what we want to do is to improve the ability to bend your knee and be able to flex your knee easier, we want to draw our vacuum in a flex position. That way we've pre-stretched all of this material over the knee so that it's locked down in an already flexed position. So what I use is a little handheld vacuum pump. I hook in here and you'll see as I start to draw vacuum, you'll see the outline of the socket and all of this stuff starts to get pulled in. And now 
Now it's very easy to bend my leg. It sits there very nicely, yet I, I'm in very good, good control over it. And uh, sitting at 90 or beyond is extremely comfortable. As I try to pull away from my socket posteriorly, this closes down and it's hanging on to me and it's actually increasing my length by a couple inches at, at least. Gives me much better leverage. Also, from a rotational standpoint, it allows me lots of motion, but it's holding me here and it's holding me here. So I don't run into any abrupt edges or sharp, sharp edges, but it controls me. And that's really critical when you're on, on uneven ground or in just in, in normal daily activities that you would be dealing with. So, and also if you look, my outer socket also moves with me. And that's a special design socket that supports me as far as weight bearing, but yet is compliant enough to allow vacuum when I create more vacuum to cause this to stay and, and be compliant. And that's what we're looking for, is a compliant environment that has the ability to give you the support you need and to allow you to do the things you want to do without paying a price. This multi-surface, dynamically activated, variable response socket technology has really changed my life. And I've never minded being an amp amputee, but when your leg starts to interfere with the way you want to live your life, it doesn't make you very happy. <laughs>